Good morning and happy Sabbath. Um, welcome to Family Sabbath School and I'm so glad that you guys are here with us today. Um, today we are learning about Jesus and going to the temple and this story can be found um, if you want to read with your family together Luke chapter 2 verses 41 through 50. It's also some more information is found in the Desire of Ages, page 75 to 83. So today's message, Lulu, is we learn so we can help others. Very good. And the memory verses, and Jesus grew in wisdom and stature. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Very good. Okay, so this story takes place when Jesus is not grown up yet. He's still a boy, which means he's young. And it's his first time getting to go with his parents to the Passover in Jerusalem. So Jerusalem was a long ways away. They had to walk there and it took more than one day to walk there. And they would walk there in a group. So maybe family members would come and join them and walk together as they made this long trip to Jerusalem. Now, this long trek to Jerusalem um, was very special and it was a very special time. And so it's very exciting. Well, Jesus, when they were done with Passover in Jerusalem, his family's walking back. But guess what? Jesus wasn't with them. What do you think about that? Do you think I'd be scared if you weren't with me and we were walking back and it took days and days to get home? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. So Mary and Joseph were very scared when they realized that Jesus wasn't with them coming back. And they thought he was lost. Well, they look amongst their friends and their family that they're walking back with and they realize he's not there. And so they go to... They walk back to Jerusalem and are constantly looking for him and looking for them. And he's just so scared, or they are so scared that they've lost Jesus. And they finally find Jesus. And you know where they found him? Do you know where? Do you know where? They found him in the temple. In the temple. And they found him and they said, why did you do this? Why weren't you with us? We were so scared. We didn't know what happened to you. We thought you were lost. And he looks at his mom and dad and are like, didn't you know I'd be of my father's business of his work? And that seemed very confusing to them. But if you think about it, Jesus was there spending time and talking and questioning and um, communing with the priests. And that's how we grow. Um, but he was also sharing with them. And I'm sure, could you imagine this boy just sharing these wonderful things with the priests? And it's just so wonderful to think of just the amount of stuff that he learned. And the priests were so surprised because Jesus had not gone to any type of formal education. He hadn't been taught by a rabbi in his hometown. And this was very odd. And, you know, Mary and Joseph, they did a wonderful job in raising Jesus and they had guidance and help from God in how to raise him. And, you know, they told him not only stories and shared with him things, but he also would go outside and learn in nature. And nature outside is one of our first schoolrooms um, to learn in that God gave us. And it's just an amazing place to explore and learn the lessons that God has for us. Which is one of the reasons why the one of the crafts, you had two crafts today. Um, one was a scroll, and you can write your memory verse in there. But the other one is also a plant to see how it grows. Just like Jesus grew, you're going to see your bean plants grow throughout the next week or so. And just see them grow. And you can plant more than one bean plant. If you don't have beans, but maybe you have other seeds, you can use other seeds instead. Um, but you can just see how they grow. And that is just a miracle in and of itself that this dry bean that seems to have no life has life and it can grow. And all of that information got put into that seed. Um, anyways, so as you finish up this Sabbath school time, take the time and together as a family, read through Luke chapter two, 
verses 41 through 50, ask questions and ask those questions about maybe what was going through Mary and Joseph's minds and what was going through Jesus's and, and explore that, that special and interesting situation that they were in. Because I know as a parent, if my kids were missing, I would have been terrified. Um, but Jesus had that wisdom because he was growing in it. All right, let's say prayer. God, thank you so much for the Sabbath day. We thank you for this time that you set aside for us to be able to make it holy and spend it with you. And I ask that you be with all of the families in all the different places that they are, Lord, and that you just guide us and protect us and help us to be lights and witnesses for you, Lord. Help us as we um, learn more about you and um, spend time with our community members and just share your love with the world. Lord, we love you so much. Amen.